Hey guys, it's Plasma here, and I'm going to show you why you shouldn't fly by yourself and why Plasma should stay well away from the Enigma Cold War server. Now, for those of you who don't know, Enigma Cold War server is on the open beta platform, and it is a very intense, very busy, but also very fun server. What it gets you is it gets you the ability to use your eyeballs because most aircraft do not have radars. Your situational awareness is limited to what you can see and what the AWACS may or may not tell you, but if you do have a GCI in the server and you're on frequency, of course, make sure you install SRS. You'll have a huge, huge advantage. So as long as there's a GCI, you're gonna be able to take off just like this and a GCI will tell you where to go. So flying in, the AWACS is telling me there's no bandits, but I can see them. And here I see a couple of them pass right under me. Hard to tell what they are, but I'm gonna turn in and investigate. I'm flying the F5 and I've got a couple of engines. I've got a couple of cannons. I think those are just plain old 50 cals. And I see an outline passing next to me. I think first it's a MiG-21, but as I look closer, I see it's not a Delta Wing and it is a Mirage F1. But I do see a second aircraft, which does catch my eye because that is a MiG-15. It's got the open tapered wings. Spot him just in time and start rolling out of the way he does fly next to me and almost goes into an overshoot. I'm trying to force him to do an overshoot so I can get a six o'clock position shot on him. In this server, it is crucial to have either a GCI to help you out so that you can spot bandits so they don't just pop up like this on you or you have a wingman. In this case, if I had a wingman, I could probably have the wingman watch my back. And I'll put up another video of me flying with a wingman. If you're on SRS and you're taking off from an airbase, spend an extra five minutes, wait for another guy to spawn in take off together, watch each other's back and start communicating. This way you'll have a huge advantage because this is exactly what's gonna happen to me here. All right, that MiG-15's inbound, firing my 50 cal on him, goes over the top, I don't shoot it with my AIM-9B. The AIM-9B in a head-on shot, just like you're gonna see here, is quite useless. Why? Well, that's because the AIM-9B is only good in tail aspect on a very barely maneuvering target. So you literally need to get behind the bandit within about a thousand yards tops and fire a missile on him before he maneuvers to get a kill. So all I have to do here really is guns. All right, so this guy's going over the top, came around. I can't get enough speed. I am staying out of his way. He did fire a few rounds. There was a couple of hits. Now he's going high. As you can see, I've got some damage, but my plane is still together and I'm still flying. This is good. I have a chance here. I'm doing good. No, I don't. I have no chance because an SU-25 finished his ground attack, spotted me, and finished me off with the GSH 30mm cannons. Plasma 1945 is going down. All I can do right now is eject and enjoy the aerial acrobatics of an SU-25 and a MiG-15 above me. So there you go, guys. That's coordination and teamwork. I don't know if the MiG-15 and the SU-25 were on comms, but right now, They've got a splash and I don't. I was just starting to get my speed and my angles in on that uh, MiG-15, so maybe I had a chance, but not anymore. Well done, MiG-15 and SU-25. Another splash, good teamwork, and Plasma-1945 is just going to have to pop his parachute and go for a walk while these guys RTB with a couple of splashes. So, if you have a chance, jump onto the Cold War server, and of course, Plasma-1945 says fly safe.